the Owl House has a lot of really good episodes, many of its best not being big story beat episodes. One of my favorite examples of this is the episode titled Enchanting Grom Fright. Although not implicitly being very plot heavy through setup and just a good story, it happens to turn out to be what most shows think of as filler and turn it into one of this show's best episodes. There is no doubt that in the other plot-heavy Disney shows like Gravity Falls and Amphibia, its best episodes are the season finales. And although we have had amazing season finales in an Owl House as well, one of its best strengths is that almost no episode felt wasteful or filler. We don't get your beach episodes or your dumb adventures. Even in season one, where you could say there's just random fun episodes like King wanting to become a writer, which was setting up the world, and King wanting to be understood, not just ruler. So it's not just filler, world building and character building. But an episode which shows off how the Owl House turns what might be a filler episode into a star perfectly is Enchanting Grom Fright. This episode has become iconic for its character moments, and they deserve all the love. Haha. <laughs> As pretty much everyone knows, this is the episode where we really find out that Amity likes Luz. It's a big character moment, and although you might have guessed it before, it was official in this episode. We also get the amazing Grom dance with Luz and Amity, which, even out of context, is just a cool fight scene, but it has so much meaning for the characters and animation as a whole. You can tell the animators put extra effort into making the dance look as good as possible, guessing that it would represent the whole Lumity relationship. And the whole setup for the Lumity ro relationship and finding out that Amity was gay is a big part of the story, which was set up perfectly and blent perfectly with what one might call a simple filler episode in another show, which is this one. Another part of this episode, which is so important on a character level, who's facing Grom. The amount of de development she got in this episode is finale worthy and is so important for what we see in the third season of the show. There are many levels to Luz facing Grom which are important for her development. The first one is that Luz can't face her biggest fear, which in this case is her mother. It's a big character moment, one, to find out that Luz's greatest fear is disappointing her mother by being where Luz fits in in the Boy of Niles, and it has many repercussions throughout the show. But something equally as important, in my opinion, is the fact that she couldn't defeat Grom. While re-watching The Owl House with my sister, we were watching the episode called Escaping Expulsion, which is a really good one. My sister found the line where Gus said that Luz is in trouble again. She thought that was funny, and it's true. Luz tries so hard to help everyone around her, yet oftentimes gets herself in trouble, just so others rescue her. She tries her best so many times to do nice things for people, but tends just to force others into action as well by saving Luz. And something about this episode which I really like is that Luz isn't the one causing the trouble. She is trying to help Amity out while at the same time trying to prove herself. It is brilliant because when Luz can't defeat Grom, we're not really mad at her because Grom was never Luz's fight. And when Amity comes in and they defeat Grom together, it shows that Luz helped. This perfectly shows off who Luz is. She may not always think things through, but she inspires greatness out of others. Amity might not have defeated Grom if Luz didn't offer Amity the Grom date because that was Amity's fear. Luz always seems to help others become their better self, even if she gets into trouble, and this episode shows it off perfectly. And speaking of impact on others, this episode is felt throughout the show for just for the photos. Pretty much any time someone holds a photo in this show, it was taken at Grom. This Grom Knight isn't just a big deal thematically, but it's just as important to the characters inside the show. Luz might have looked back on the night in disappointment like we see at the end of the episode, but seeing how everyone looks at the photos with the smile on their face, it is clear that Grom Knight was special to everyone. Luz's energy was expressed through Grom, and this night is how her friends remember her as that as that light. Grom isn't a throwaway episode, even if it would be in most shows. It changed the story of the Owl House forever while being in the middle of a season. It was a night of happiness, fear, and pain for the main characters, which really transformed the story. When you come down to the core of the episode, it is nothing more than the characters confronting something which is holding them back. 
For Luz, it is the inability to face her fears. For Amity, it is her sexuality and liking Luz and not thinking that Luz will like her back. And for King, it's his stage fright. This episode shows us that an episode of a cartoon doesn't need to be a finale to give serious character development. That trait is something which makes the Owl House truly special and is present in a lot of episodes, but Enchanting Ground Fright is probably the one that showcases it so well. But that's all I have to say. For this video's trivia, let me know the full name of Grom. While you're down in the comments, make sure to tell me all your thoughts on Enchanting Ground Fright. Do you like it? Is it an amazing episode? I think it is, but maybe that's just me. Although Enchanting Grand Fright is the perfect guide to how to make every episode count, the Owl House's perfect episode template is Knock Knock Knocking on Hootie's Door, which I cover in this video. Subscribe for me to analyze the Owl House more. The end is here, but the discussions will continue. Once again, thanks for watching. I've been fictional fanatics dressed up as Principal Bump, and until the next one, I will raise the roof.